Japan is on earthquake watch now because of the fact that deep sea fish have been washing up dead after seven giant deep sea fish. These are ore fish. Japan is fearing a devastating earthquake or tsunami is on the horizon after they have discovered seven giant deep sea fish washed up on their coast and what many perceive as a doomsday warning for them. This is by Thomas Mackey on Express UK. These can be up to 18 feet long as have been washing up on the United States as well. In Japan, a four meter long, that's 30, 13 foot oar fish was found Monday tangled in a fishing net off the port of Imizu and it's the latest in the spat of unexpected deaths of these types of fish. These creatures, which can grow up to as long as 11 meter, that's over 35 feet, are believed to be an indicator of doom in Japanese mythology. These fish apparently come to the surface and beach themselves when an earthquake is near. Scientific theories suppose support this ore, as the bottom-dwelling fish are susceptible to movements in seismic fault lines and they act uncharacteristically before an earthquake. So these uh, bizarre sea creatures can actually predict earthquakes and they wash up on the beaches. These fish only surface after earthquakes and they are caught this way. Social media users in Japan claimed the death of the fish foretold foretell the disaster is actually near. One Twitter wrote, this is no doubt evidence of a precursor to an earthquake. If it is in the Nankai trough, an area susceptible to tectonic plate movements, it might be a huge quake. Another asks, is something happening deep in the sea? In other words, something structural with the faults. Well, the third question, what is going on under Toyama Bay? Well, Professor Shigeo Aramaki, seismologist at the University of Tokyo, dismissed the fears of social media users as nothing. He said, I'm not a specialist in fish, but there is no academic literature that has proven a scientific link to the behavior of these animals and seismic activity. Quote, I see absolutely no reason for concern, and I have seen no updated reports of increased seismic activity in this country in recent weeks, he says. At least a dozen oarfish were washed up dead in Japan 2010, months before the huge earthquake uh, that hit uh, the Fukushima area, March 2011. The quake had a magnitude of nine and was one of the biggest recorded in the century. A devastating tsunami followed, and uh, it also, of course, put out the Fukushima nuclear power plant, and that's still oozing radiation. The Uzu Aquarium keeper Kazuza Saiba said, there is no scientific evidence at all for the theory that oarfish appear around big quakes, but we cannot 100% deny the possibility, he says. It could be that global warming might have an impact on the appearance of oarfish or a reason we're just not aware of. Oarfish characteristically by long silver bodies and red fins, are known in Japan as Ryugu no Tsukai, or messenger from the sea god's palace, that's in English. The fish live at depths of 0 0.62 miles and come to the surface when an earthquake or tsunami is looming. Hiroyuki Tomomura, professor of ichthyology uh, at Kim. Kagoshima University said, I have around 20 specimens of this fish in my collection, so it's not a very rare species, but I believe these fish tend to rise to the surface when their physical condition is poor, rising on water currents, which is why they are so often dead when they are found. The link to reports of seismic activity goes back many, many years, but there's no scientific evidence of the connection, so I don't think people need to worry, he said. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.